hello guys as we can see in the screen we are having a custom table and in the custom table we are having these entries so exactly same entries I have done as OVSH help and then in that in, 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 in OVSH help we are going to face one issue so let's check that one so that one we cannot solve it only through OVS we have to add some database lookup so let's check create planet and then in this in this we can see this custom field in this UI so I have developed as obvious search help which gives the possible entries by giving star here from the pattern and giving on search so in this even if we enter anything it will just accept even after clicking on check it doesn't give any issue so this uh, as far as this works like this it is fine but issue is so as we are giving right value it is accepting but even though if the if we give value any value which is not there in the UI without using such help then also it will accept so I am just giving some Arabia and then even after clicking on check now the system will accept and it will not throw any error even after clicking on check button so this is the issue we will face even after giving a such help to this so, so in, even if we do, if user directly enter the value it will accept blindly so in order to restrict this one we have to add a validation either in baddy or else in brf so I am preferring BRF for now because it is easier and without coding we can do it. So let's start working on that and let, let's see the difference. So here Arabia is not there in this table but still it is accepting. So that is the issue we have to resolve now. Let's go to USMD underscore rule transaction so in this so here BP and then click on continue now in open trigger function and we have to add here uh, because I am using it for custom entity that cus entity name is Z C U S T O M Z custom so uh, I, I am just go right clicking here and then now I am creating object node so in this I am creating a function now I will give the function name as check underscore this is the naming convention and then custom so this is the function we have to give here and then check zz router check zz router so this is the field we are checking now that's why I gave this as text and click on create and navigate to object so click on ok so this function has been created now in this we have to add add existing data object so that add data object we can get from here that is custom entity data object so here we can able to see at last so z custom so this z custom only we have to do now so go back and add existing data object this name is z custom search this clicking on ok so this got added now we are going to add 
validation here itself with the, it, this is in, in independent of CR type this has to work so we don't need any other component here let's go to assign rule sets and create a rule set so rule set name let's give rs underscore check underscore zz router So I, I gave this and check zz router check zz router and navigate to object so I will save this so in this we have to add a rule here so this is rule set and in this we have to create a rule so we have to understand first what should be the rule so we don't need any CR type for now and here let's understand what is the rule so if that field is empty suppose if we are giving that field as empty then it should it should not check in database tables because if it is empty it is okay but if the if any value is given in the database table then only it should check that means this function which I am going to do now first it has to check if value is not initial that means if value is initial it has to skip this validation that is the point I want to mention so I am just doing this if value is initial it has to skip this validation so for that for doing that there will be an insert exit condition so we ha we can add exit conditions here and use value range from here we can give zz rou ter router so we have to check if zz router value is having any value or not so that zz router is this one it's directing this and clicking on ok so on clicking this we are getting this exit condition so here if z custom car is is initial if it is initial then it has to skip this validation so is initial then it has to skip this so I am saving this and then next I am adding another rule so this is the main one which we have if it is not initial then it will go to next step next rule and then we have to search in database table so so here assigning the condition So I am creating a new expression here. So the expression is we have to create a database lookup. So this one we have to select and in this we can give dl underscore zz router. So I am just fetching from database table by using BRF now. So create and navigate to object. Yes. So it has been created. Now we have to make changes here. So we are not selecting for data retriever. In this case we are selecting for existence check so click on this so existence check if at least one entry exists in table so which table we are referring to so we are having this table custom table we are we, are, we want to check in this table so I am just copying and pasting here so with condition that means which condition I have to give here 
So in this table, we have to check with routers with condition routers is equal to here if routers is equal to we have to select from context and in this we have to select the character so this is uh, this is zz router field so if if the router field entered we are checking from routers which is in this table so in this database table we are indirectly checking where condition in where condition and then we are returning if this is true then what should happen so I am assigning just boolean value now so it, it will return true if it is existing in the table now and otherwise it will return as false so I am just saving this activating so go back and check here So this rule, I want to keep it down because if we keep it up, um, this exit condition will get triggered after this is this got processed. Drag the drag the bottom one and drag it to upwards. Now it has been moved up. So initially it will check with, uh, from this rule set if the character is initial then it will get exited from this root if character is not initial then only it will come into this logic so let's check this one so if if this lookup gives a true value then this operation we have to define here so if this returns true value then I am adding in else block because if it is false then only uh, we have to send a uh, if it is false then only we have to send a log to user so I am going to perform action and then he, here I am creating a new action So that action should be of log type. So let's click on this log message and then log underscore z z and what is that name? We have to give custom field name. So zz rou. So I'm clicking on create and navigate to object. Now we have to go to this message type should be error error message. So I'm going to error and here we have to give a text. So router field you entered is invalid. save this and activate and go back again here also save this and activate So we have activated this and let's refresh web page. Now let's see this. So insert check entity both are activated. So now we can check in UI. NWBC. So insert this let's go to customer governance. So let's check any CR type. 
because this uh, this custom field has been included in all the CR types. Let's check create customer planet. So in our case, we can check any CR guys. We don't need it is not specific to any CR. Let's click on check now. It doesn't throw any error, but if we are giving so if we are giving any um, any entry from this it will get filled now let's click on check still it does it should not throw any error but if we are filling any table which is not from the drop down or else if it is not from this custom table in this case it has to throw error so let's check that condition now now I am giving something which is not there in that list Arabia uh, now I am clicking on enter button it has to throw an error so it will throw now router field you entered is invalid so user enters the field which is not there in this list in this custom table then it will throw error by using this development so thank you guys